With today's ice carving, we're learning about how to set up the template. Uh, we put up a cardboard sheet against the block of ice first, chisel out a design, and then the fun part, we get to use some chainsaws to carve out that design and refine it a bit. Uh, so it's a brand new experience for all of us, and it's been really, really exciting. Uh, very different, but a lot of fun. Uh, we just get a chance to come out here and try something brand new. Uh, today, uh, we prepared a number of different hors d'oeuvres to serve to our guests as they come along and watch us carving ice today. Well, we got a beautiful day uh, for our ice carving class outside the UT Conference Center. Uh, this is part of our normal curriculum with the UT Culinary Program. Uh, but I would like to say a few words about something we're very proud about. Uh, we recently got awarded a recognition by the American Culinary Federation as a value program from the American Culinary uh, Federation Educational Foundation. And what that means for the students is they're going to get 300 hours of continuing education units free of charge for further education and to work on their certifications to make them better. Why have we've introduced this part of the curriculum to our culinary program is it really adds something special to buffets. It's a great skill. It gives the students artistic feel. They can use this carving uh, as they could with vegetables or melons or any other vegetable carving as well. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Mine took about two hours or three hours. Uh, it's very detail oriented and when you think of culinary arts you don't necessarily think of ice carving but uh, I guess it's a good substitution for pumpkin carving since it's Halloween.